The year is 1929, a year that would live in infamy as the start of the Great Depression. Imagine if you will, the United States in the Roaring Twenties. It was an era of unprecedented prosperity and economic boom. Jazz music filled the air, flappers danced the Charleston, and the nation basked in the glow of newfound wealth. Industries were flourishing and consumer spending was at an all-time high. It was a time when the American dream seemed within everyone's grasp. The stock market was the beating heart of this prosperity. Investors were infatuated with the promise of quick fortune and Wall Street was their playground. Stocks soared to dizzying heights and it seemed as if the party would never end. But as we all know, all that glitters is not gold. Beneath this veneer of prosperity the economy was on shaky ground, the agricultural sector was struggling, banks were overextended and income inequality was on the rise. The economy was a house of cards and the slightest gust of wind could bring it all crashing down. And crash it did. In late October of 1929 the stock market plunged into chaos. Billions of dollars were wiped out in a matter of days. This event known as the stock market crash of 1929 marked the end of the Roaring Twenties and the beginning of a decade-long economic downturn. The crash was like a stone thrown into a pond, its ripples spreading out touching every corner of the nation. Banks failed, businesses shuttered, and millions of people were thrown into unemployment. The prosperity of the Twenties seemed like a distant memory replaced by hardship and despair. The Great Depression had begun. It was a time of great uncertainty and economic hardship. But it was also a time of resilience and innovation as the nation struggled to find its footing and forge a path forward. And so, with the crash of the stock market, the stage was set for the Great Depression. The Wall Street crash of 1929 was a monumental event that sent shockwaves across the globe. The Roaring Twenties, a time of prosperity and economic boom, had given rise to an era of speculation. Investors, both seasoned and novice, were buying stocks on margin, a risky strategy that involves borrowing money to buy more shares. This speculative frenzy had inflated stock prices to unsustainable levels. Then came Black Tuesday on October 29, 1929, a day that will forever live in infamy. The stock market plunged into freefall. Investors panicked, selling off their stocks en masse. In just a few days, billions of dollars had been wiped off the market. The bubble had burst and the consequences were catastrophic. The crash didn't cause the Great Depression, but it was a significant factor that contributed to it. It exposed the underlying weaknesses in the economy and shattered the confidence of the American people. The crash was merely the spark that ignited the fire of the Great Depression. While the economy was collapsing, the environment was also in turmoil. As the Great Depression tightened its grip, Mother Nature had her own plans to deepen the misery. The Dust Bowl, a catastrophic environmental disaster was silently brewing in the heartlands of America. The Dust Bowl wasn't a sudden event but a slow, creeping disaster, born out of a combination of human activity and natural phenomena. The Roaring Twenties had seen a boom in farming, driven by the demand for wheat during World War I. Farmers, lured by the prospect of quick profits, plowed up millions of acres of native grassland, replacing it with wheat. This grassland, evolved over thousands of years, had served as a natural defense, holding the soil in place and conserving moisture. However what the farmers didn't anticipate was that the Great Plains were entering a cycle of drought. The rain stopped, the crops failed, and the exposed topsoil, bereft of the grassland's roots, was left at the mercy of the winds. The result was dust storms of an unimaginable scale. These black blizzards, as they were called, blotted out the sun, turning day into night. The Dust Bowl was not just an environmental crisis but a human one. It displaced millions of people forcing them to abandon their homes and farms. These Dust Bowl refugees, as they were known, headed towards California in search of work and a better life. They left behind a landscape scarred by erosion and economic despair. The Dust Bowl was a stark reminder of the consequences of unsustainable farming practices. It underscored the delicate balance between human activity and the environment. It was a lesson in humility, teaching us that we are not masters of nature, but a part of it. The Dust Bowl was a disaster within a disaster, further deepening the crisis of the Great Depression. It was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. A story of survival against all odds, in the face of overwhelming adversity. The Great Depression was not just an economic crisis, but a human one as well. The financial turmoil of the era didn't just affect Wall Street or the big banks, it hit home for millions of ordinary people. The impact was felt in every corner of the country, in every household, and in every individual's life. 
unemployment was a harsh reality for many. At the peak of the depression, one in four American workers was jobless. That's 25% of the workforce without a steady income, without the means to put food on the table or a roof over their families' heads. The once bustling factories and shops were now quiet, their machines still, their doors locked. The streets were filled not with the hum of industry, but with the desperate pleas of the jobless. Poverty was rampant. Families who had once lived comfortably found themselves struggling to make ends meet. Children went to bed hungry. Parents, their faces lined with worry and exhaustion, wondered how they would provide for their families. The middle class, once the backbone of the economy, crumbled under the weight of the crisis. Homelessness became an all-too-familiar sight. Shanty towns, often called Hoovervilles after President Hoover, sprang up across the country. These makeshift communities built from scraps of wood and metal were home to those who had lost everything. They were a stark reminder of the human cost of the Depression. The psychological impact was equally devastating. The stress and uncertainty of the era led to an increase in mental health issues. Feelings of despair and hopelessness were common. The societal fabric was fraying as people struggled to cope with the changes and challenges brought on by the Depression. The human toll of the Great Depression was immense, affecting millions of lives in profound ways, but it also sparked a resilience and determination in the American people, a will to endure and overcome, that would see them through the dark days and into a brighter future. The government's response to the Great Depression was unprecedented and controversial. In the face of the economic crisis that had engulfed the nation, President Franklin D. Roosevelt initiated a series of policies and programs collectively known as the New Deal. The New Deal was a bold attempt to bring about economic recovery and alleviate the suffering of the American people. The New Deal was comprehensive and multifaceted. It included a variety of programs designed to address different aspects of the crisis. Some of these programs focused on providing immediate relief for the unemployed. Others aimed at fostering economic recovery by stimulating demand and providing jobs. Still, others were designed to reform the economic system to prevent a similar crisis in the future. One of the most notable programs was the Civilian Conservation Corps, which provided jobs for young unemployed men in rural areas. They built trails, planted trees, and worked on other conservation projects. This not only provided income for desperate families, but it also led to the improvement of the nation's natural resources. Another significant program was the Works Progress Administration. It employed millions of people to carry out public works projects, including the construction of public buildings and roads. This program injected money into the economy and provided much-needed employment. The New Deal also saw the introduction of Social Security, a revolutionary program that continues to provide income for the elderly and disabled to this day. It was a radical departure from previous government policy and marked a significant expansion of the role of the federal government in the economy. The New Deal had a profound impact on American society. It brought about significant changes in the relationship between the government and its citizens. For the first time, the federal government took on the responsibility of ensuring the welfare of its citizens and intervening directly in the economy. While the New Deal was not without its critics and controversies, it was a bold and innovative response to an unprecedented crisis. It fundamentally reshaped American society and set the stage for the modern welfare state. The New Deal was a bold, controversial response to an unprecedented crisis. The Great Depression would eventually come to an end, but not without significant changes to the nation and the world. The winds of change started to blow around the mid-1930s, with the economy showing small signs of recovery. However, the real turning point came with the onset of World War II in the late 1930s. World War II, while a global catastrophe in its own right, inadvertently served as the catalyst that pulled the United States out of the economic abyss. This war, as devastating as it was, kick-started the American economy in ways that previous relief efforts had not. Factories that had been idle during the worst years of the Depression roared back to life to meet the demands of the war. There was a sudden need for everything from uniforms to ammunition, tanks to torpedoes. This surge in production led to an industrial boom that filled the factories with workers and the streets with consumers. Unemployment, which had soared to around 25% at the height of the Depression, began to plummet. By the early 1940s it had fallen to nearly 1%. Millions of Americans found work in defense plants and shipyards, crafting the weapons and machinery that would be used to fight the Axis powers. 
Others enlisted in the military, finding purpose and camaraderie in the shared goal of victory. The war not only put people back to work but it also led to significant technological advancements and spurred innovation. Industries grew, new sectors emerged and the economic landscape of the United States was irrevocably transformed. As the fog of war lifted and the dust of the depression settled, a new America emerged, stronger, more resilient, and ready to take on the mantle of global leadership. The country had endured a decade of despair, but it had also learned valuable lessons about economic resilience, social responsibility, and national unity. The end of the Great Depression marked the beginning of a new era for America and the world. It was an era that would see the United States rise from the ashes of economic ruin to become a global superpower, setting the stage for the world as we know it today. The legacy of the Great Depression is still felt today. The Great Depression was more than an economic downturn. It was a paradigm shift that forever changed the role of government, influenced economic policy, and shaped the modern world. This seismic event triggered a re-evaluation of the laissez-faire approach to governance, leading to a more active role for government in economic affairs. Before the Depression, the government largely stood aloof, allowing the invisible hand of the market to steer the economy. However, the widespread hardship caused by the Depression necessitated a change. The government had to step in, not just as a regulator, but as an active participant in the economy. This shift brought about initiatives like the New Deal, which saw the government taking unprecedented steps to stimulate the economy and provide relief to the American people. The Great Depression also influenced economic policy in a profound way. The economic theories of John Maynard Keynes, which advocated for increased government spending during economic downturns, gained prominence during this time. These theories continue to play a significant role in shaping fiscal and monetary policies around the world today. Moreover, the Great Depression left an indelible mark on the global economic landscape. It exposed the interconnectedness of the world's economies, a reality we continue to grapple with in the 21st century. It also led to the establishment of global financial institutions like the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, which were created to prevent a recurrence of such a devastating economic catastrophe. Lastly, the Great Depression, in its stark revelation of economic inequality and social injustice, spurred movements for social reform and workers' rights. It ignited a sense of collective responsibility and highlighted the need for social safety nets, concepts that continue to underpin our modern societies. The Great Depression was a defining moment in history, its lessons still relevant today. It was a time of great hardship, but also a time of significant change and progress. The legacy of the Great Depression is not just one of struggle, but also of resilience, innovation, and transformation. The Great Depression was a time of immense hardship and profound change. It was a period in our history that indelibly shaped the course of the world. Let's take a moment to revisit the key themes we've explored in our journey through this significant era. Firstly, we delved into the dawn of the Great Depression, a period marked by the infamous stock market crash. This catastrophic event, which unfolded in the autumn of 1929, sent shockwaves through the global economy. It was a time of great uncertainty and fear, as people watched their fortunes evaporate overnight, setting the stage for the decade-long depression. We then moved on to the Dust Bowl, a severe environmental crisis that compounded the economic woes. Massive dust storms swept across the American Midwest, decimating farmlands and leading to widespread displacement and suffering. It was a stark reminder of how environmental factors can exacerbate human crises. Our journey led us next to the heart of the depression, the human impact. Millions faced unemployment, poverty and hunger. It was a time of despair, but also of resilience, as people banded together finding strength in community and solidarity. We explored how the government responded to the depression, implementing sweeping reforms and programs aimed at economic recovery. Initiatives such as the New Deal not only provided immediate relief, but also fundamentally redefined the role of government in safeguarding the welfare of its citizens. Finally, we examined the lasting legacy of the Great Depression. It left an indelible mark on the world, reshaping economies, policies, and societies. It taught us valuable lessons about resilience, solidarity, and the importance of robust, responsive governance. As we reflect on the Great Depression, we are reminded of the resilience of the human spirit and the power of change. It is a testament to our ability to endure, adapt, 
and emerge stronger in the face of adversity. And as we look to the future, these lessons from our past continue to guide us.